What up, everybody? It's your boy, Tommy Sotomayor. I want to talk to you about something that I got into, got into like an argument with people today. And it was over the idea of mixed people and black people. And let me tell you something. Mixed people are not black. I'm tired of people referring to them as black. Let me point something out to you. If you take the color yellow and you take the color blue and you mix them together, you will not have yellow or blue. You have green. If you mix two dolls, a Doberman Pinscher and a German Shepherd, you will not have a Doberman Pinscher or German Shepherd. You'd have a mix. And every other thing in life, when we mix the two things, we call it something different. We don't call it one or the other one. Fruit, colors, everything you can think of, once it is mixed, it no longer remains what it's mixed with. It becomes something new. But for some reason, in the black community, we accept other people's trash. Now, I'm not trying to disparage mixed people at all, but you have to wonder why is it that white people, if a person's mixed with black and white, they are called black, but not white. Why is it that white people, the white family does not accept them as being white, but black people accept them as being black. See, the reason I have a problem with this is because we as black people don't have pride in our race. Now, there was a website that says black women are sexy yet all the photos of the black women are mixed chicks there was a top 10 most beautiful black women's list and you can find it online most beautiful black women in television do you know that seven of the top 10 were mixed and i mean directly mixed they had amber rose on one of the top uh, 50 most beautiful black women Amber Rose, Quincy Jones' daughter, who's so white that she only plays white people in television shows. She doesn't even play a black woman. But they still call her black. We as black people, and I don't think it's black people, let me call it what it really is. It's black women. Because on that Facebook page, you can go see it. It's called Black Women Are Sexy. The black models that they do have that are my color, the real dark skinned ones. Look at where they say they're from. Look at what they say they're mixed with. Most of them say they're French and I'm African American and French and Italian. And now you my color. But you want the world to know that you mix. And then let me point something out to you dummies. If you are saying that you are black and Puerto Rican, you are an idiot. Because black is a race, Puerto Rican is a nationality. And you can't mix races and nationalities. See, a white person can be born in Africa and refer to themselves as African, because that's what they are. That's where they were born. Have you noticed when white people say, I'm mixed with Italian and French? They're not saying they're of mixed race. They're saying they're of mixed culture, of mixed nationality. They're not stupid enough to walk around and you ask them, are you white? No, I'm mixed. They know they're white. They don't argue that they're white because they know the difference between a nationality and a daggum race. Then you got these other idiots here in America, and especially if you go look on that page, how many of those women claim to be mixed with Cherokee? Well, if you are, if so many of you are mixed with Cherokee, then why aren't there any Cherokee people in your family? Why aren't there any Indians at your family reunion? Why are there no Indians claiming to be mixed with black? Isn't it weird that black women hate themselves so much that they refer to themselves as everything other than African? Look at every black model you've ever seen. The darker they are, the more shit they'll tell you that they mix with. The more they'll tell you they Blackfoot, Indian, and Cherokee, and chick, the only time you've ever seen a Cherokee was when your daddy bought one from the damn Jeep store. But these black women hate themselves so much that they'll put in weave and tell you that it is their natural texture of their hair. Then when you find out it's weave, they'll tell you you wrong for saying something about it. Why is it that we are so keen on being mixed with something? 
it is because we have allowed the trash of other people's race to become ours. Have you noticed that no other race, if a no, no Japanese people claim Japanese and, and black mixed people. Notice how no white people claim George Zimmerman. He ain't white. Notice how no Mexicans claim George Zimmerman. He ain't Mexican. But black folks claim everybody. Black people are so deluded that we claim Bill Clinton just because he smoked weed, cheated on his wife, and played the saxophone. Black people are so deluded that we will claim people who do bad behavior and say they black like us. Black people are so deluded that the man who married Paula Patton, black women say he black like us, even though he's white. Black people, black women, excuse me, because I don't be black dudes. Black women say John B. is black like us. Have you noticed that every time a white dude move into the black neighborhood, he has no problem getting to sleep with a black woman because she wants to have one of these mixed kids that she wishes she was. We need to stop calling mixed people black, because if you don't understand what that says, it says that your race is trash, that you accept everyone's trash. Black people are like we are going to a garage sale and picking up everything we can from other people and looking at it like it was the best, freshest and brand newest thing ever when we put it in our house, when they're trying to get rid of it. White people don't claim mixed people. And I'm telling you now, the first time a woman tell me she mixed will be the last time I'll ever hear her say she black because you can't be both. But black women love saying that they mix with something. Please stop being so stupid to say you mix with Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican is a nationality. There are black Puerto Ricans and there are white Puerto Ricans. They're from Puerto Rico. That's what it means. Just like they're white Africans and black Africans. They're from Africa. I wouldn't be dumb enough to run around and tell people I'm of mixed race. I'm of, I'm mixed with a Georgian and a Panamanian. That's stupid. They both was black. One just spoke Spanish. I'm not of mixed race. Then somebody told me they're Hispanic. Okay. I'm Panamanian. Does that make me not be black? No. Still black. And too many of y'all are holding on and grabbing on to other things, trying to be something other than black. Then you got to ask yourself, why is it that most of the black models, especially the dark skinned ones, they got this big, huge, long weave in their head that looks nothing like the natural growing hair that would come out of black people. These are the questions that we got to ask ourselves. Why is it that the only time these black women are beautiful when they got weaves and perms? Ask yourself, why? And the reason that is, is because in the black community, we treat mixed people like kings and queens. That's why the top seven, the top seven of the top ten people in the magazine that were the most beautiful women were all directly mixed. Long, stringy hair, look like white girls, thin lips. You love them. Why? Have you ever noticed the mixed chick is always the leader of a black group? A black group of chicks, the mixed chick is the main chick in the group. She gets all the attention. My co-host, a beautiful woman, but she's mixed. She puts weave in her hair. No one questions it. They think it's hers. A woman my color puts weave in her hair and they automatically assume that is weave. No one ever thinks that's her hair. But yet both women get to claim that they're black. Do you know the kind of psychological problems that this is causing the black race by claiming mixed people? See, you got a black person that has to commit and to compete against somebody that looks nothing like them, but can call themselves that. Don't you think it would be odd that if I was able to call myself a midget and hang out with midgets and play basketball with midgets, they would find it unfair that I was dunking over them and their girls were lusting out of me over me because I was six foot, but still calling myself a midget. This is why other races are against race mixing. This is how they keep their families together. This is why the Japanese are 96% homogeneous. Look it up, people, if you don't know what it means, because I ain't got time to explain. Other races understand that when you dilute your race, you dilute your people because you cause confusion and strife within your race. Do you not understand that that's why every time the white man landed anywhere he landed, he made sure that he had sex with the women and produced mixed children because it would it would drown out their race. It would cause confusion amongst the race. It would make them figure out are the lights better than us. When you have that variety, that range of people you can call black. 
then you have inner fighting. That's why we have the light skin versus dark skin. That's why we say things like pretty hair and nappy hair. That's why we say things like she's pretty for a dark skin girl because everyone can claim they black. Mariah Carey can claim she black, but she was raised by her white mama in a white neighborhood with white family members, yet she still can say she black. How does that make sense? Barack Obama, no one questions the fact that he's black, even though he was raised in a white neighborhood by a white mama and white grandmama with white friends and white schools. So why can't he claim white? He's more white than black. He didn't even have no black people. The first black person he knew was Michelle, but he's still black. This is the problem in the black community. Once we allow this race mixing to just permeate our society. And again, I don't have anything against mixed people. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. But white people are proud to be white and they wake up every damn day proud to be white and black folks don't do it. We wake up every day trying to claim any other race other than our own. We don't get up saying I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to look black. I'm just black. Damn it. White people grow up, wake up every day and say this white shit is the bomb. You notice the only people who are proud to be black are mixed people. That's why our NAACP man is mixed. That's why the person who do black in America is mixed. That's why every time you see somebody being pro-black, hell, Malcolm X is mixed. They more proud to be black than black folks. Black folks hate being black. We can't stand being black. That's why we walk around with all this weave in our hair and trying to do shit to be white. I got white in my family. Do you hear white folks running around saying I got black in my family? But every time you talk to a black woman, she'll tell you about some white person in her family that she ain't never met. Somewhere down the line. And don't get me talking because my next video, I'm going to point out how white women, how black women have no, no right to get mad at a black man for dating white women when they were raped and had their damn cousins, uncles, daddies, and everybody killed doing slavery. And the first, the first race mixing that went on after the Civil War was who? Black women in the twenties when black men were being hung by black for, by white people for dating white women for looking at white women. Do you know who was in full blown relationships? Josephine Baker mm -hmm, with white men. So when you complain about us, who was complaining about y'all doing it? Who was complaining about Diane Carroll? Who was complaining about any of these black women who were doing it during the middle of civil rights movements? Y'all don't want to hear me. It's because the black women have it's because black women have this urge, this want, this need to be mixed. They hate themselves so much that they want to be mixed. They hate themselves so much that they look up to mixed chicks. That's why a mixed chick is always the leader of a group. Tell me I'm lying. Every time it's a group of black chicks, the light skinned one is always the leader. When she says, let's go out to the club, they go. When she says it's time to go home, they go. When she say that nigga lame, they stop talking to him. Tell me I'm lying. The dark skinned dude is, I mean, the dark skinned chick is only the muscle. When she's there, she's there to be loud. She's there to make sure that people understand that their service was bad at the restaurant. Tell me I'm lying. Don't get mad at what I say. Tell me it's untrue. And at the end of this video, do me a favor. Stop calling mixed people black. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm not accepting they trash no more. Mixed people need to talk about mixed issues. They need to talk about what mixed people face. Because you don't face what black people face. As a matter of fact, two mixed chicks been on my show. And they openly said they get more men to talk to them than black chicks. Maybe y'all should realize that. Them people think they better than you. They are the dwarfs amongst midgets. They're too short to be a regular person, a white person. White people don't claim them. But they're taller than us. Black people. So, of course, they want to hang out with us. Makes them feel good. Well, I refuse to call them black because I'm sick of watering down my race, which shows how much we hate ourselves, that we watch all these black models who are the color of this microphone in front of me sit there and yell that they mix and then don't even say they mix with a race. They too stupid and uneducated to know the difference between races and nationalities. I'm Tommy Sotomayor, the madman behind the mic. I'm out.